I hate that card. I do. already have it. There's a metal card, and I wanted a metal card. Oh my gosh, you really are a f creature. We've established you're not f dumb, right? No. Are you clinically diagnosed dumb? We'll go with that. You quit your job after applying to be on the show. What are you trying to be a cheeky little f You think this is going to land you a job somewhere? Yes. That, I'm not going to let you sit there. If you're going to be a little f calm down and take this seriously, little right. Hi, my name is Logan. I am 21 years old. I'm from Beaumont, Texas, and this is Financial Audit. Thanks for coming over from Beaumont. What do you do there for a living? Um, well, now I'm technically unemployed, I guess. I was working at a car dealership. I was selling cars. When did you become unemployed? Oh. Uh, people love it when unemployed people come on the show. I know. Okay. Well, I, I'm sorry that you're unemployed. Was this a... Were you intentionally unemployed or? Yes, I, I did quit my job. Okay, I, why? Because that's you. People are going to say, oh, you're not relatable. But you quit. I know. You I quit. I, I this did is, quit. People are doing this all the time. But it, it's really because, like, car sales is rough. Like, okay. I, I had to yeah, do but, some kind of shady stuff just to, like, make quotas. What, and, you're sucking for cars? Well, what are you talking jobs, about? you know. You know oh, okay. Uh -huh. you know, but, so, but. But really, I was like, I wasn't making a whole lot of money. Like, I know that sounds. Then you must have sucked at sales. Yeah, it was pretty. I mean, I would okay. sell in between like ten to twelve cars a month, and then mm. it just kind of dried up once I went on vacation that one time, and it just. Well, yeah, you usually don't sell cars when you're on vacation. Yeah, then my mindset mm. was just like in vacation mode all the time, and I was just like, Let's What's vacation see. mode? I just wasn't ready to work. I mean, I wasn't ready just to go and like grind and grind. I just went a week in Hawaii. I was like, heck yeah, let's enjoy Hawaii. So for f sake, man. Okay. And I get why some people are upset every once in a while. Like, it's just like, what can we do to pay off your debt now? Like, what? I am. What doing, is your situation? Like, uh, are you making money? Yes, I am. Kind of doing odd okay. jobs here and there. Okay. And I have been applying for some jobs. Well, why didn't you? Get have a job lined up before you left. It mental health, honestly, a hundred percent of it was mental health, and it what? was. I was working seventy hours a week. Okay, request less. I it it sells. You got to be there to sell cars. And if you're not there, you're not selling cars. Okay, so where was the mental health then? What did it look like? Mental health was I was waking up every day at six thirty in the morning, going to work, and I was getting home at eight o'clock at night. I had no social life at all. I had no me time. Uh, it was honestly kind of driving a little bit of a stake between me and my girlfriend because we were never seeing each other. I'd come home, eat dinner, talk about my day and complain. And she- So it sounds like you were more just very unhappy. I was extremely unhappy at that job. But this wasn't like a clinically diagnosed mental no, health thing. No, it was not. So you just, you, you hated your job. Yeah, I mean, which I, I totally vibe with. Okay, you hate your job, but then we're applying for jobs like it's crazy. And then you don't end your, end up putting yourself in a bad situation where apparently you're addicted to going on vacation and you continue to do that without making any money, racking up debt and having to work out jobs just to pay things off. And now I don't have a job. Did you have a fully funded emergency fund before you left? No. So I what are we doing all. then? I, I used it all, man. I was, I was sitting Okay. What there. were you using it for? I'm paying bills. I mean, honestly, I was, oh, well, I had, I had a new wait, car. Wait, before you left? Yeah, before I left because I wasn't making money. You had a new car? Of course a car salesman had a new well, car. Yeah, I mean, that, that was well, kind of their gimmick. Well, you weren't making car sales. That was kind of their gimmick. It was like, hey, man, you should get a new job. Competition of who has the highest interest who has, rate? Who has pretty much. I, actually, I leased it. So, so you, you know. still have it? I do. I do. It is a... Wait, did someone talk you into this at the shop or did you get it yourself? It was, uh, I say a mutual agreement, but it was, uh, it was yeah, a mutual agreement. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. Somebody said, hey, uh, you should you should get a new car because I was oh driving gosh. a uh, 2011 Honda Accord. It was a great car. I miss it every single day now. But she was like, hey, your car is kind of a piece of shit. I was just brought aware. I was just, I was talk I was I was chit chatting with the producers over here and I was like hey why do we have someone who's unemployed we're not doing that anymore people hate when people are mm -hmm. unemployed you quit your job after applying to be on the show so you were uh, employed when you applied yeah, so this is moving quick when did you when did you leave probably two days after I applied it was just when was that I don't know your application date uh, maybe three weeks ago okay. maybe. But I've if you want to apply, calebpair.com slash apply. Don't leave your job before coming on, though. I would. 100%.
What are you trying to be a cheeky little f You think this is going to land you a job somewhere? No, people are going to hate that. I'm going to f***ing hate that. I'm not going to let you sit there if you're going to be a little Okay. Hey. Calm down and take this seriously, little right. So. So now, I mean, after I got the car and everything, I it was a Kia EV6. Uh, they said they gave me a great, great rate on it. They gave me a, tons of discounts and everything. Uh, not too long ago, probably about two months ago, I went in and I looked at really what all discounts they did. And they me like car salesmen got car sold sold were the top car salesmen selling if you were in that 10 to 15 were you doing well when you were in the 10 to 15 range a month before you came back on vacation mode i was doing probably four to six a month okay and with then, commission well was there a base six, pay no base cap no they had a draw it was fifteen hundred dollars yeah and if you don't cover your draw <laughs> yeah, you so like the rocks. legal minimum. Okay. Yeah. Um, hey, yeah. Okay. What were the top guys doing? 20 to 22. And oh. it, well, the reason why I got into it is because in my interview, they were like, hey, our top guys are making 300 grand a year. And I was like, oh, yeah. hell yeah. Like, that sounds well, awesome. You think you would go in and become a top guy immediately? I mean, it shows how good you could be if you become a top guy. Mm -hmm. But if they tell you what a top guy is, do you think everyone sitting there is a top guy? The way that they made it seem is that they were like, hey, everybody who works here is over six figures in their first year. I know you don't have any experience doing this, but we should definitely get started. So you're, you came with your friend. Is he a car dealer? No, he's not. He's a... Uh, Looks like a car dealer. He does kind of look like a car dealer. I just took a picture of him and we'll throw it in an episode if he allows us to. Looks like <laughs> a car dealer to me. Well, he looked very happy there because he gave a thumbs up, but he looks like a car dealer. He's sitting mm -hmm. there. Okay. So what are you doing with these jobs right now? These little side jobs? What are you actually making? Because we need to have some kind of income for this to be a relevant conversation. I, I've been doing like favor here and there. Okay. Kind it's grocery like delivery in grocery Texas. Li grocery delivery. Okay. Uh, I've been working odd jobs for friends and family. Well, what is that? Is uh, it just like fixing I, things? Fixing things. I'm mowing lawns. Yeah, what, so what are we making? I mean, that's, uh, not, uh, that's not even close to sustainable. What are you making? I'm making probably like maybe four to 500 a week. Maybe. Like if I like try. So like. Are you trying? Yeah, I mean, I'm out there, man. Okay, so like, you're making 500 a week then? Yeah. I'm, you said, if I try. Are you trying? Yeah, I mean, I had to, I had to, you know. Are you paying bills? You, or are you relying on the girlfriend? I'm not relying completely on girlfriend, but she is helping me out in this in this situation a lot. She understands where I'm coming from. Where are you coming from? You're not doing anything. Well, yeah, I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to sit here, and I've, I've applied for a few restaurant jobs down there. Oh, a few restaurant yeah, jobs. yeah. I mean, there's a there's a new sushi place that opened up. I love sushi, so I was like, yeah, I can't. I Relying can on a few restaurant job applications is not what gets us somewhere. Also, wait, but you're gonna make less. What do you mean? Like, how am I gonna make less if I go and do a restaurant job? Then yeah, likely. Then what you're making? Your last payroll that hit was four thousand six hundred seventy five dollars for the month. You're probably gonna make less than that. You're gonna be making what? Are you gonna be a server? Tip minimum wage plus tips, hopefully. It probably. Okay, so you're still probably gonna make less than that, depending. Who knows what kind of restaurant it is? You're probably not gonna get into one of those top restaurants where you're actually making a killing mm -hmm. right away. I, I would hope we're trying to move at least laterally in the income scale. Maybe a brief dip while we try to move laterally while applying that, to other jobs. That forty five hundred or so is not consistent at all. That was yeah. One, welcome to sales. That was one month. I sold twelve cars. And hours at restaurants are consistent. Hours at restaurants are consistent. Aren't like, consistent. Yeah. It depends. It depends. If yeah. they start seeing you slacking or anything, all of a sudden you notice. Oh, why do I have five hours less this week? Wait, why do I have two hours less this week? What? Well, what's happening? Mm -hmm. you, Quiet fire. Something. I just need something that is paying the bills at this point. Are you paying the bills? That's I've. Put most of everything on credit cards. I mean, that's where I've gotten this amount from is, hey, I got to pay for stuff somehow. I got to put it on credit cards. Pay. What's your plan here, man? What was your plan? To figure out how I can just get no, 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 no. What was your plan when you quit? What was the plan? I didn't think. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Oh, come on. You had to have a semblance. A summer. I thought I thought you know maybe the next week I'd wake up one day go put a couple of job applications in you know I I mean that's usually how it works right 
like I, I go put in a couple of job applications and that was it yeah i mean that that's how i got my jobs before right i just go put a couple in i'm cool you know why not are you lazy lazy i mean you I, seem like someone just just has nothing together you couldn't even do like a plan you had concepts of a plan but that was pretty much it concepts you know and dreams i had, had dreams you know I, I i still what are you what when am i i don't know I, like i, I could be a world traveler that's what i want to be no that's what i want to be what are we doing right now what, are, what am i even supposed to do with that you know that's not a f no, but that, it's a I, thing for a very, very, very small percentage of people that are like bloggers or vloggers or maybe I can get into that. I mean, oh, start what going vlogging. Can you please tell me, is that a serious sentence or are you saying that because there's a camera pointed at you? No, I, I, it'd be that's cool. an actual serious yeah, sentence I, I that you were saying. Traveling well, no, sh but you said that's what I think I could actually do. You think you could actually do that? Yeah, why not? Seems why not? Because it's probably a point zero zero one percent chance of doing it. Yes, there's a chance. It's insanely small. Do we bet our future on that without having a consistent income that we're at least relying on while we're trying to achieve that? I've got time. I right. Time. Like, you have debt. Wait, why the? F why'd you apply to come on the show? I need to know this right now. What the f is happening? What am I sitting in front of right now? I, I the Pillsbury dope. <laughs> I love that uh, Panda Express, man. Can't say. At least I wear shirts that fit me, even though I'm fatter. Nah, it's all right. It happens. Okay. What? So what? 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 Why'd you apply? Why'd you actually apply? Because you don't seem like a serious person at all. And by the way, these are people that are out there actually existing in the world. So, person you're walking on in your evening walk that you pass by, just like this. Welcome to my insanity why are you here i'm i'm here you know so i can get a plan together i can i can start no no so no more. I no like so you can travel more plan together i can get a plan together with your delusion where you think that what you want to do is just immediately go into world traveling and you're applying to a couple restaurant jobs i can't make a plan from that I can't do anything from that. I can go through debt. I can make up a make uh, made up budget based on what I hope your income is. That's f nothing. Let you do it. We're not doing. I've got somewhat income here and there. What I said, what four fifty a week or so. I mean, that can pay most of my bills there. And What's your monthly bills? I know rents like over a thousand. I got your portion or total. Total. So just so you guys split it. Do you live together? Mm -hmm, we do. Okay, so five hundred. About five hundred. Okay. And then I've got about a five thirty a month. What payment. was your spending last month? Spending last month? Yeah. What was it? I don't know. Two thousand maybe, if that. Okay, four thousand two hundred seventy nine. So what the f are you talking about? What are you on? You're not living on the planet. That we're living on. I'm sure most of that was necessities, right? I mean, I've a okay. Lot of are you actually f stupid? I, no, most of it was. No, 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 no. Are you again? Are you saying that because there's a camera pointed at you, or are you f dumb? I no. I'm you dumb. know that's not how this show works. Yeah, but I, I don't want to be a. C but seven hundred ninety-two dollars. Well, what are you? What are you doing? Getting? The, do you have insane dietary restrictions? Snacks. I do like snacks. We we do a lot of charcuterie boards. Okay. Is this just how you talk? Is this just how you present yourself? Is this how he just presents himself in the world? I got a thumbs up. Are you f what? You're a creature. I'm sorry. I'm being extra mean, but your presence is upsetting. Did the girlfriend ever tell you that? Um, I mean, you spent three hundred fifty-six dollars going out to eat. Four hundred fifty-four dollars on miscellaneous BS. The transportation about. Uh, uh, oh gosh. Your car insurance, whoa, what the f car insurance is $614? EVs are expensive to insure. I have an EV, it's not even close to that. Uh, young driver, State Farm. State Farm is high. That's also including a life insurance policy that my agent said. If your was. car insurance and car payment is more than half of your current take home, mm -hmm. You're applying to every job that exists in the entire town of Beaumont. It's not a couple of restaurant jobs. It is literally every job that exists in Beaumont, including being a f corner walker for you. To you need anything. Okay. Not actually that last one, to be very clear.
Don't do that. Well, I was thinking about going back to school as well, like going and like get a certification. I know that certifications are really big right now. So I was thinking about going back there, getting maybe a certification in like drafting or something. You might need to talk closer to the mic. Oh. You're very quiet. I do apologize. Your delusion is soft. <laughs> Okay. But yeah, it's a certification. Certification. In yeah, and drafting. In like, drafting? Like uh, computer drafting, like CAD. Okay. Yeah. If Course Careers have one, has one of those, we'll give it to you. Okay. Uh, I, I'm not sure about that one specifically. Lots of tech stuff, and mm-hmm. they're going into the trades as well. Um. Okay. All know. right. I'm going to get into the, this money, but it's just I'm, a, I'm just a little disappointed, man. I don't know. This is, sounds like... I get that some people say it's not relatable, but talk to your brother-in-law at Thanksgiving, man. Let's mm-hmm. see who it is. I'm sorry, and I'm, I'm sorry. I, I need to not be so mean to you. What people just out there don't realize is this is just, just it's not the corner of the lights. We're just talking, yeah. and but you're just like I don't know. You just seem like a unreal entity uh, so far, and I just need to. Trust your realness and um, accept it and just go with it. I'm sorry. It's, just, it's a little weird for me. No. What does the future hold for business? Ask nine experts and you'll get 10 answers. Bull market, bear market, inflation rising. Who knows? If only someone would invent a crystal ball. But until then, over 38,000 businesses have future-proofed themselves with NetSuite by Oracle, the number one cloud ERP, bringing accounting, financial management, inventory, and HR all into one streamlined platform. With NetSuite, you get the one source of truth for your entire business, giving you the visibility and control to make quick, informed decisions. It's like peering into the future, armed with real-time insights and forecasting. And instead of spending weeks closing the books, you'll do that in days, focusing more on what's next instead of what's already happened. It streamlines essential operations, reducing the need for manual work and minimizing mistakes. This frees up more time to focus on expanding your business, Plus, you'll reduce operational costs, condensing all of your software needs into one place. Whether your company is earning millions or even hundreds of millions, NetSuite helps you respond to immediate challenges and seize your biggest opportunities. Supercharge your business today and download the CFO's Guide to AI and Machine Learning for free at netsuite.com slash hammer. That's netsuite.com slash hammer. NetSuite is helping you stay ahead of whatever's coming next, and thanks to them for sponsoring sponsoring today's episode now let's get back into it okay what would you think your finance score is 10 being the absolute best you could ever get zero being the absolute worst uh i'd probably give myself like a like a three like a three solid three okay mind you just your car payment and car insurance is over 50 percent of your pay (laughs) I got investments though. So watch your hammer financial score. Link in the description below. Do you? How much? Uh, about fifty six hundred. Oh, about. okay. I, I try to max out my Roth IRA. <laughs> so you're trying to say that as your score? Okay. Which, yeah. Yeah, maybe. For twenty one, that's not not a bad start. Not by any means. Let's start with this Apple card. I hate that card. I did. why do you have it? Because then, the it was a metal hate- card. There's a metal card, and I wanted a metal card. Oh my gosh, you really are a f- creature. I mean, I have to judge that. I'm sorry. I, yeah, I'm not, I, I, usually, I sit in here and just react to the finances instead of judging the person. But how do I not judge that? That's f- crazy. You gonna buy this pen because it's f- metal? There you go. Why don't you go into debt for this? Oh, sorry. Kind of. I don't know. My emotions are weird right now. I got you. My dog's also going into surgery as we're speaking, so I am actually a little weird. Um, okay. Sorry uh, it's okay. She just can't stop eating and then it gets a blockage. Mm. Now, it happened last year, too, and we were with the money guy. Mm, it's annoying. That's okay. Mm, and expensive dog insurance. Okay. 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 So just because you had a you wanted a metal card, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, cool. But why'd you go into debt for it? I it's easier to tap whenever I tap. I don't really think I'm spending all money because it's just like a take my phone out and tap kind of thing. Like, do you, do you get that way too? Every card is easy to tap. Are you? No, but like it's on your phone, so you don't have to pull out your wallet. I've got like. Well, you can put every card in your wallet. You can. Your digital wallet. Oh, f- no, you can't. No, you can't. 
know you could do that. I thought it was just like the Apple products. That's interesting. No. No. I. No, man. Uh, can you even delete Apple Wallet from your phone? I don't think so. I just can't. You have. Yeah, you just can't have credit cards because it taps easy. This is why we're in debt because it taps easy. At that point, we can't have credit cards to save our life. We can't use other people's money to save our life. We can't have any loans to save our life. We can't do anything. You're not capable. If if because you're just like uh, uh, like that's what gets you going. Like that's if if that is why we're in debt because uh, uh, then like. Do they made things so easy just to spend money these days? Like, just the oh yeah, just tap twice and you're fine. What is it? What do I not like about him? Is it because he's like mono? Like he's like flat? Is this, something seems like an uh something about you? And I I don't want to be yeah. mean. Just maybe because you're flat, it almost feels like nothing matters to you. But maybe it does. Just maybe it's how you present yourself. But is anyone seeing what I'm seeing? I, are you seeing what I'm seeing? I need to know right now. What is happening? <laughs> Sorry, sorry. I'll, I'll try to make that the last time I bring it up. It's just, it keeps f***ing me. There's a, they make it really easy, and that's just, it's just like, what? <laughs> like, okay? Yeah, I mean, it, they, they do. Like, it's so easy. It's like an ad pops up. Hey, buy this now. Just click twice. And well, why listen to the f***ing ad? Probably the same reason why I ended up buying a car. I think I'm gullible. <laughs> just kind of marketing works really well on me. You think you're gullible? Yeah. Okay. So you recognize the flaw. Why not work on the flaw like a adult, like a relatively mature individual? Uh, probably should grow up a little bit, shouldn't I? Like just a little bit. Oh, you. Okay. Yeah. Mm, okay. $25 minimum with the payment, $477.38 balance. Oh, it's all just spent. You're still, you're spending on this card. Well, why? McAllister's crumble? You kidding me? An in-app, probably a little click-click Apple Pay. Mm -hmm. Wendy's. Why is this getting hair? Wendy's Cafe. Another Apple thing. Click-click. Panda Express. Going and getting some BS. Getting a vending machine. Fantastic. Chipotle. Going and getting some BS. Subway. Apple Bill. Going in and getting some BS. Going in to get it to BS. Chapman Enterprises? What's that? Oh, f that has to be like a little vending machine or something. Oh, yeah. You get it twice and it's machine. the same price. Yeah, it's a vending machine at work or at the, my old job. Crumble? Maybe I should put it in a vending machine so you guys have to pay for the drinks and I get to make money. No, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> but maybe. Eagle on the way. What is that? A f like, Am did you Amazon a bald eagle to you? Eagle on the way. I don't even remember that one. Sounds like it probably it's probably a place you stop at while driving and get some BS because you then did it charge? again at Cruising Market, Starbucks store, Chapman Enterprises, the little vending machine. You love your two dollars and thirty five cents something. What are you getting? A Dr Pepper. Great, and then you also got vending machine there and vending machine there. A uh, pop shelf. It's like a. Uh it's like a little dollar store thing that sells like home goods. It's pretty. Do cool. you have emotions? Yeah. Marshalls. You're not gonna like go dumber on us later, are you? Don't plan on it. Huh? Don't plan on it. That's that's a lot of work. Oh my gosh. You're, okay. Five hundred twelve dollars and eight cents. Maybe oh, that's your balance. Twenty seven percent interest rate. Eleven dollars and eighty one cents of interest accruing. Maybe Patrick Bateman, not Dahmer. Much better. Blue cash. Preferred. I'd prefer if you weren't sitting in front of me. I do like that one because I get 6% back at grocery stores. And we do eat it out at a lot, like you said before, at groceries. Okay. So. We've established you're not f like a literally d dumb, right? No. Are you clinically diagnosed dumb? No. I mean 6%? Who gives a f you're accruing $106 in interest. It's that much? Oh, my gosh. Okay. I, I, I don't look So you've never looked? I, I Okay, then to. I take back the dumb. This is, this is ignorance, and that's yeah. okay. Ignorance is okay. Ignorance, we can, you know, we teach, we inform. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. And, 
Uh, you're six percent. I really thought you were okay. Okay, so you actually thought you were getting something from yeah, this. Well, it's clear you don't really understand this, and that is fine. You need to go through our new debt program. You need to go through it. You'll get it for free for being on the show, awesome. but you need to clearly, because the fact that you just don't know how to utilize that, mm -hmm. it's, I mean, it goes over how to pay off that in the most effective ways, but it also goes over how to utilize that in the most effective ways. So it's a full debt package. Mm -hmm. And you, the fact that you don't even know to like look at interest, you don't understand credit cards. And we go over the benefits of credit cards and how to completely f*** yourself and you f*** yourself and you didn't even know. So please go through that so you can just learn. You also get the budgeting and investing program. Go through all of them. Learn as much as you can. Suck in the information. Take the classes or take the quizzes and everything. Mm -hmm. The fact that you just didn't even know and you thought 6%. Okay. So let's see. You purchased $1,490. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. So you got $89 from that. If they were all the grocery stores, which they weren't, so it wasn't the full eighty nine in cash back. I mean, that, that's pretty substantial cash back. Though. Yeah, but it doesn't matter because you still lost twenty six dollars, right? Yeah, just no, about. Yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Well, math was a little off, but you still did lose, and it wasn't that full mm -hmm. full amount because it wasn't all grocery stores. So four thousand six hundred forty dollars and sixty cents. With a minimum monthly payment of one hundred fifty-one dollars and forty-seven cents, you paid more than the minimum, but it didn't matter. It wasn't even close because you purchased one thousand four hundred ninety dollars with one hundred and six thousand thirteen cents accruing in interest. Sixteen years to pay off this takes doing the minimum monthly payment. Sixteen years. This is why we need to learn how to utilize debt because you don't. No. You're not a credit card person. You cannot take advantage of debt, dude. Even making your extra big thick payment still takes three years to pay off. And yes, well, you have insurance on here, so you're not getting that no. beautiful percent back. But then there's tons of HEB. You're addicted to going to HEB. And you want that in your veins, HEB. It's like, like, have you? you okay, are you? The, you do, uh, mm, you're not trying to be silly, are you? You're trying no, to make no, jokes? Like, like, seriously, like, it's it's good stuff. Like, have you ever tried their sushi? Like, I know it's not, like, amazing, but, like, HEB sushi is... Almost every day I would get lunch at there and get H-E-B sushi. Every day? It was good. I mean... Well, it, I understand it's good. I don't give a f what. Did I ask if it was good? Are you f What? I figured it was better than going out to fast food because like at least... Oh, oh or maybe healthier. we pack a f***ing sandwich. You already spend a thousand hours a month on groceries. So maybe we can pack some lunch if we're spending... Uh, $700 more than we can meal prep you at. Yeah. What? Uh, I don't like sandwiches all that much. Oh, my f***. It's an example. I, Put I, something I, in a thermos, you dumb f***. Okay, fine. I never call people dumb. I never like insult people like this. I just get angry at their money. But that's, oh, you. Oh, man. Oh, I don't look good this episode. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, but I can't help but just let raw motion go. Uh... But come on. You know I wasn't talking about a sandwich, you little. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You could do so much. So much for packing lunch. Hey, do you pack lunch? No, yeah, for this friend doesn't pack lunch. Never mind. For f sake. He actually works at HEB. Claire, what'd you pack for lunch today? Pesto pasta. That sounds pretty fing yummy. Maybe do that. that sound good. Jake, what'd you pack for lunch? Oh, protein bar and apple slices. Uh, mm. uh, Lindsay. A sandwich. A sa well, okay. Well, pasta. Pasta, okay? Okay. Pasta. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of insurance. Do you pay your insurance in two payments throughout the month? That was a little bit different because it was a it was an overlap period because one month had ended with the insurance policy ending. Have you ever cried or laughed or yeah I, got I, angry? I, no, I don't get or angry. sad. Eh. Pecky Sue's ice cream and Netflix. We're not getting the six percent with that, and then you're a Spectrum cable. Now, okay, you're saying you're all these HGB stops. Are you telling me they're sushi? So it's not even groceries. You're just most getting them. lunch. Yes, most so of we can't even. Up. So we put that towards the grocery budget, and we can't even do that. So it turns out you're going out to eat. It's likely going to be five, six hundred bucks a month. Maybe. Yes. Yeah. 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 Taking away from the groceries, what we thought were groceries, being sushi for lunch. Yeah. Thirty percent interest. Do you like to cook because you buy a groceries? Yeah, I actually wanted to go to culinary school whenever. And I you seriously it. cannot put anything in a lunchbox that insulates the temperature? 
I, I could. I, cook you know, your favorite little thing. The person who's doing the graphics on this, his name is Salah. He also cooks. He cooks multiple times a day. It's one of his favorite things to do. So he brings in all these things. He ma- handmade egg rolls and all this. You could do this. You could be having great lunches. If you love to cook, make good lunches. Bring them. Okay, what is this? Uh, that is the personal loan I took out. Why'd you take out a personal loan, my dude? So back in February for my birthday... I went to Hawaii to see my best friend. He does he live there? He does. Yeah, he does live there. Okay. And did he move there? Yeah, he joined the military. Oh, okay. So me and him went out there. I brought my girlfriend as well. So we... did you pay for her? Yes. Oh, good. F- now, legitimately, guys, I believe that you, everyone in your life, everyone around us can actually take control of their financial future and make their lives better. And we've spent over a year here creating tools to help make those goals a reality. Right now, our budgeting program and investing program are bundled together at a 15% discount and you get $100 in cash gifted to you right into your Moomoo Moo account. There's honestly no time like the present to actually take control of your future. Don't wait. Don't let this opportunity pass you. And we you went tell out. me how much your girlfriend makes? Uh, I don't actually know. I don't ask her those questions. I... Okay, go on. So we went out there. Wait, a personal loan, not for a trip. Yeah. Well, no, not necessarily for a trip. I did a debt consolidation loan because I put everything on a credit card first, and then I put it on the personal loan. Oh, good. So I got the points You out. can't consolidate. Get the points. Have you spent on that credit card since? Yes, a lot. Then I think it's our then, next Then one. shut, then shut, shut, then shut. <laughs> you negated it. You negated any progress. You didn't pay off debt. You just moved debt, and then you racked up more debt because you had more access to a credit limit. Again, you're not a credit card person. You're not a debt person. You can't utilize debt. You don't know how to. You, it, it's uncontrollable for you. You put fucking Hawaii on a credit card. Yeah, we went out there, had a great time, spent my entire birthday there. Did I, you cause the fire? No, there was actually a... a earthquake there while we happened it was it was kind of scary we uh we had to vac- evacuate for uh, i know you didn't feel fear it, it was it was scary okay. man. I, being on an island with nothing around you at all was, was terrifying but also i thought personal loans like d- don't like installment credit help your our installment lines help your credit more right is that it, what's your credit score it's like a 727 is it really because mm-hmm. i try to get I also tried to get another loan to consolidate all my loan, all my debt again. And? They said no. No sh. You don't. Uh, they said no. What was that? Are you trying. Again, are you a. F- okay. Oh my. F- I hate this. Okay. Are you a little. Dude. Are you a child? Are you like an actual child? Like physically and emotionally? <laughs> the way you act, man. Your little responses to things. Oh, I can't stop mentioning it. But I think they gave me a deal on that, on that actually. So they were like half a point less than their normal rate. So I think it was. Oh, like, wow. Now it's only 10%. Uh, I thought it was like nine and a half, right? It's nine and a half? Or is it ten and a half? Nine and a half. Yay. Not competing with the market in any way whatsoever. So just losing money. Okay. So $4,657 for this Hawaii thing. And nine and a half percent. What is the minimum monthly payment? I believe it's a hundred and seventy-five. That's what I pay I, every month. The one seventy-five. Man, what do we do for the post show? Cause I don't want you to be here. Uh, okay. Yikes! 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 Okay. All right. Well, that's stupid as. What was the balance you took out, or the consolidation? What was the total consolidation amount? Five thousand. Are you going on any more trips still? Uh, we usually take a trip to Houston about once a month, and me and her split that evenly there. So. Well, how far is away Houston from Beaumont? About two and a half hours. Well, that's further than I thought. Do you guys just drive? Yeah, we just drive up there, stay what? stay the night in a hotel. Why don't you drive two and a half hours and just do a day and then go back? It's a lot of driving. I don't care. Oh, you cannot. Oh, one drive there, one drive back. I guess we could start doing that. Yeah. How often do you do this? Well, at least once. And a how month. much does it cost? Once a month, twelve times a year. Uh, we probably spend about seven hundred fifty dollars. You, you? About yeah, because we gotta go out to eat. 
You spend seven hundred fifty dollars. You not split. Mm-mm. Why don't you split it? Does she not make money? No, Nine thousand dollars a year. That's about. you make uh four hundred fifty dollars a week. That's before setting aside any money for taxes, which I'm sure you do. Well, that is split. I mean, we but usually the hotel room is about five hundred. Oh, they're f-ing telling me you spent a few thousand dollars on a Houston trip just in a couple months ago. That was for her birthday. So I, you I, don't have money. Well, at that you point, have I, bad debt. Did you have bad debt at that time? Did you take out the personal loan for the stupid, I, stupid trip? I did. Okay, then no. A few thousand dollars? No. Why didn't you pay off the debt? It was her it's, birthday. I mean, I would. What was it? A magical birthday? What time? What age did she turn? She was turned twenty. I turned twenty. Uh, the f- that's nothing. She turned twenty. That's not even anything. Eighteen. You're an adult. Woo! You can do a little more things. What? Twenty. Twenty-one. Okay. Yeah, you can f- drink. Woo! Twenty. It's nothing. Why spend a few thousand dollars? Who cares? I felt bad because I we went to Hawaii oh, for my birthday and oh, I was like, Meh. you should feel bad because you have a lot of debt that you're not taking care of and any kind of future of your relationship with her you're putting on hold because you have bad debt. And if you guys got married, you'd only be holding her down. How would you feel bad about that? How would you feel bad about keeping her, just stringing her along in life? How long have you guys been together? Uh, almost three and a half. Years. Oh, there you go. You're stringing her. You're not a f- birthday month person, right? That's my no. birthday month. No, I'm not. That's good. You seem like it. What about for her? Is that her birthday month? So it's time to. F- no, we just we went all out for that weekend and had a good time. Yeah, thousands of dollars. Yeah, uh, it, it's expensive to travel. I know. To Houston, it's not that crazy. A two and a half hour drive. That's not trap. It's a, like a day trip. That's not a thousands of dollars trip. What'd you guys do? We went. Oh, I don't even give a f. I don't care. I don't care. I don't want you to relive those pleasantries in your mind. This debt is bad, man. And you're you're prioritizing a 20 year old birthday over literally putting yourself in a financially sound position so that you guys can be together forever. In no way should she be attached to you marriage-wise while you're like this, yet you don't care. You go on this little trip every month. A couple months ago, you spent multiple thousand because she turned 20. Big birthday, woo, new things unlocked there. Are you going any more trips planned for the future? We were thinking about going to New York. Are you thinking about it? Don't. Okay. I mean, it's it's huh? It Macy's Day Parade. I want to go see that. Oh, shut the f- up! Uh, are you gonna Are you gonna live uh, till twenty five? Plan on it, yeah. I'm- yeah, probably. Go then. Get out of debt. Get a fully funded emergency fund. Yeah, get retirement going because it's gonna be delayed here for a little bit, and so you're gonna have to recatch up and then go. Be an adult. Adults go to the Macy Parade. Now, thoughts, comments, concerns, potentially any emotion. Uh, we we're like we're travel people. We like to travel. I mean that that's our big thing. I'm a like- go eat a shit ton of insane food kind of person. I don't anymore because I well this last these last like couple months down a few pounds. I'm happy. I don't do that because I don't want heart disease when I'm older. Okay, so that's me. That's what I am. I don't do it because it's not good for me. You're a travel person. You don't do it right now because it's not good for you. Why do I give a f- if you're a travel person? That means nothing. You could be an Xbox person. That doesn't mean I'm saying go out and buy every game on the Xbox store right now. I'm not saying go and get an elite controller right now because that's not good for you. You could be a f- cannibal person. I wouldn't encourage you to go eat human meat. So I don't give a f- if you're a blank person. You don't have to do it if it's bad for you right now. Okay. Okay. So you won't? I, I, I'm gonna. So you me. won't. Okay, I won't travel then. Will you? Actually, no. Will you? Are you serious? Are you? Will you? Are you? Will you? I once I get to a better position and I want to start traveling. Okay, then. so you're not gonna go to New York right I, now. I will not go to. New you York. will not. I will not go to New York. Good. Okay, your lease, forty-eight month lease. Okay, but mm-hmm. on the extending side, the 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 thing about this, what kills me. <laughs> Leasing is not the way to go. No, it is not. But it's also five hundred thirty-six dollars a month, man. My and you are was, f- baked in. I am baked in. My thought was, well, I'm going to be paying. Yeah. Go ahead. My thought was, is I'm going to, I'm going to be paying a car note anyway. Might as well get a nicer car in that case. 
No, th- that's that's the way that they made it seem is like, hey, man, you're going to have a car <laughs> oh, note anyway. You seriously? I mean, you know the tricks. You work there. You know the tricks. Why did you fall for the tricks? Because it sounded good. I mean, it, but that doesn't make any sense. Like, if I'm going to have a payment, I may as well have a more expensive payment. That's what you just said in a different way. They. That's what you just said in a different way. You understand that, right? If I'm going to have a payment, I may as well have a more expensive payment. That is what you said in a slightly different way. You said, if I'm going to have a car payment i may as well have a nice car you just said if i'm gonna have a payment i'm gonna have a high payment how does that make sense that doesn't make sense i mean the average car i'm gonna have a credit card balance i may as well have a hundred thousand dollar credit card balance today's sponsor is exter and their new parliament wallet and new card holder pro are the perfect upgrade for your wallet game now let's talk about why both wallets are crafted from premium materials with the card holder pro made from recycled aluminum no plastic inside these wallets are designed to fit your life holding up to 14 cards without any bulk and the metal card ejector trigger makes getting your cards out a breeze. Worried about losing your wallet? Esker's got you covered with their finder card and tracker card which sync effortlessly with your Apple devices. But don't worry, Android folks, they work for you too. And right now, Exter has some killer deals. You can grab extra savings with my code HAMMER on top of their ongoing promotions. Head to partner.exter.com slash Caleb Hammer and upgrade your wallet today. Thanks to Exter for sponsoring today's video. Now let's jump back into the episode. I mean, the the average payment on a car right now is like 750 are you seriously going to compare yourself to the average dump who doesn't know how to budget i thought i was doing good i was like i got well you're not it's fucking this is a quarter of your income and it would be doing well and you're still not at that point i was making the five grand a month whenever i got that i got that three months in working there so even still with an extended lease you would want it to be 10 percent of your gross I figured I was going to be making more. Like I said before. like I was Why? Trying- For a job you hated? Or did you only start hating in the last three days and decide to quit? Uh, if you already hated it, then that wouldn't have made any sense to do. I probably hated it in probably the last What's the buyout? Months. Buyout right now. Not that I would recommend it, but I just want to know what the buyout is. If I sell it to Carvana, it's right at, I believe, 13. No, no, no. I can I can pay 13 to sell it to Carvana, or I can buy oh, it Oh, you out. can pay 13? Mm-hmm. Okay. Or I can buy it out for 22. 22 plus the price of the remainder of the lease? Okay. It's valued at 27 right now. Mm-hmm. So with the price of the remainder of the lease in it, it's probably well above that. But you can pay 13 to sell it and mm-hmm. get out of the lease. I can pay 13, sell it, get out of the lease, walk away. But at that point, I was thinking about it. I, at that point, I would have had to pay about 26 thousand dollars in total because i put down six thousand dollars oh good for fuck's sake yeah all this is with putting yeah. six thousand dollars down mm-hmm. yee i traded in my car then put down another 1500 so a 2023 kia ev mm-hmm. this is this even a nice car did you drive it here no i it won't make it this far i want <laughs> you have an ev you know the mileage is yeah but a super supercharger takes like two seconds it takes two seconds there's not a whole lot between here and Beaumont. Well, that's Beaumont's fault for being I have to drive Beaumont. three towns over to use a supercharger. Well, there you go. How many miles do you get on this? The highest I've had is 350. That's fully charged. Fully charged, one, uh, zero to 100. I'm going to look up pictures of this then because what the f*** is this car? How is this so expensive? It's a compact SUV. I'm like, is, this, is there any chance? Oh, what a creative name. EV6. Looks kind of cool. Yeah, it's really cool. It has the fastest zero to 60 right now. Um, what is it? SUV. Uh, for the GT, it's two and a half. For you? Uh, for me? For um, yours? Like four. It's not even. Okay, then, I mean, mine beats that. And I have an SUV. So. You have the, you have the Model Y? X. Oh. Also, the X Plaid's, I think, two to 2.5 seconds. So, I mean, that's just an inaccurate statement. But yeah, it was a really nice car. But you got your selling point. I got my selling point. I got a. Uh, it's a lie. <laughs> yeah. What's. Well, yeah. It always feels good to sell people when it's a lie. <laughs> um, one, I wouldn't have wanted you to lease this, but if this was your car payment at three years, I would have at least wanted you to make sixty five hundred a month. I thought that's where I was going because whenever. But I, even still, it was leased, so you weren't least, like. It, whenever I started working there, I sold a bunch of cars my first month. Everybody was hyping me up, and then month six happened. 
and month six was just crickets. well all markets have up and downs so i mean it's you weather that that's mm -hmm. what happens in commission that's what happens in owning a business we have up we have downs i had, I had major lifestyle inflation was what oh, it was it was complete lifestyle inflation i went out bought my new car i was thinking about buying and going to see if my girlfriend wanted a new car too i was like we moved into a nicer apartment at that time as well right as i got the car upped our rent got into a nice little neighborhood now that i'm being around you more and i'm realizing this is just your existence i'm not as a, i don't hate you as much actually i don't hate you now good i don't hate anyone i don't dislike you uh at first i thought you were like putting on like a little show because i didn't have a chance to meet you yeah, before because no. i was on a phone a uh, phone call with the, the vet so I, I thought you were just coming in here and being a cheeky little boy and i was like what the fuck is this but this is you okay that's fine okay with them. um yeah we need to think about this car situation at the end that one is mine i do know that uh capital one quicksilver yes that's that's my oldest card it has no annual fee that's the only reason why i keep it open uh keep keeping it open is fine but why even hold a balance at 207 dollars when it's accruing interest there's a balance on it oh you little is, there might be stuff like on auto pay or, or something like that what are you talking about? I, you got a $25 payment, but either way, you only made a $50 payment, so it's not on a full auto. It's not, it's not auto balance. That's you true. have a payment set to it. How do you not know this? That's a I know if I, I, I know I don't spend over X amount of money that I make per month, but whenever, uh -huh. I, well, whenever I was swiping cards, I was like, all right, I've got $4,000 to spend this month on everything. 4000 You would give yourself $4,000 on everything? On everything. Including rent? Uh, no. Is that including investing? Oh, f not including rent. Oh, for f sake. Uh, so, okay, walk me through it. So I would say, all right, I got four thousand dollars this month. I've got to do this, this, and this this month. Plus, I also have to be able to. Well, I don't have to pay for gas, which was nice, as well as I've got to be able to eat every day, and well, at that time with sushi. So that's kind of where my mindset there was: is I've got to be able to. Just stay below that 4000 We should be all good. You started it wrong. <laughs> One reason why I think you're in this is because you started it with the incorrect mind. When you start with, I have $4,000 to spend, you're not going to end up in a better position than where you are right now. That's not how it works, buddy. We assign where every cent is going on a monthly basis by establishing what goals you have. Where do you want to get? Where do you want things to be? Uh, how quickly do we want debt paid off? Where do we want for a retirement goal? What is required to get the, there? What are the steps along the way? What does our budget need to do to reflect that? And then if our budget is not fitting it, maybe it's an income thing at that point. What do we need to fix around that to reflect that? If we f***ed up looking at the past month, we're like, oh, shit, so what do we need to fix to, in our current budget to reflect it what do we need to adapt that is what we're doing but if we're starting the month with i have four thousand dollars to spend and you're saying that after you're, you're not even taking into account rent or investing or anything like that are you taking into account the car bill yes the okay car thank bill. The car but bill. even still not taking into account rent and investing this is a dangerous place to go four thousand dollars to spend i think a big thing was is they gave me huge credit limits like they're just which is why then you are not a credit card person if you do not know how to manage you didn't even know there's a balance on here that's accruing interest and uh, there's still auto charges probably happening. Uh, no, a returned payment. I think you had a payment declined. A payment declined for pulling from your checking account. I didn't know about that. I, genuinely, I don't ever check that card. You need to check all cards. Sit down on a monthly basis. At the end. Again, you're going to get this going through the budgeting program. So just please make sure to take that. Please promise me you'll go through it. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you. Oh, it's a 31.74% interest. That one was high. Capital One do, does have really high rates. Capital One be doing high rates. Okay. Mileage plus United. That's the big one. Or one is this the big one? Big one? Oh, f it is. Just, I don't understand why you've allowed yourself to get into this position at 21. This is by 21. If you took a half a decade or a decade to accumulate this it's not like i would excuse it or any means but the fact that you've done this by 21 creates a pit in me a lot of a lot of this has happened since january oh for f sake i opened two of these cards <gasps> since january what about this one that one was <gasps> in february i actually oh for f why what for the hawaii trip yeah but that was already sent to the personal loans. how did it get all the way back up again because i used the personal loan to pay that off 
because I got that. No, 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 I know. You used the personal loan to pay this off. How did it get all the way back up to $4,319.08 again? Because that was kind of like my daily spender. I would just use oh, that. Oh, for Because I was getting my money. But why points. weren't you daily paying it off then? I got paid once a month. I wasn't. No, no, no. That's an example. If you're yeah. daily spending on it, then why don't you pay it off? Because you're not daily spending on the debit card. So just apply that to this. Mm -hmm. Why was that not being done? Obviously not. Because we racked up all the bits of balance. You're accumulating $93 in interest. <gasps> 200. You're killing me. $269. $269 of purchases on here. Why? Double your payment. Why? Why? It is accruing interest. Why? Is this still your daily spend? Your little daily spend? It is. I, I was honestly waiting for that big payday again just to pay everything off. But I need you to chop up those credit cards. I need you to close the credit cards. I don't care if it hurts your credit because there is no credit in the credit system that you are taking advantage of that is helping you more than this is hurting you by you having access to it. You need to close it. You need to destroy it. You need to burn it. I don't give a f how it affects your credit score until you are ready and proven to be able to utilize this. Then we can talk about being a credit card person and building credit. Okay. I, I will for sure close that one. Out. No, I need you to close every card. All of them? Yeah, because you're going to take this behavior and apply it to another card. If you close one card, it just gets moved to another one. You've already proved that with the personal loan. Mm -hmm. This is what's going to happen without changing your behavior. And this will at least, if you can't control the behavior, this will at least prevent you from spending on debt. And you can only spend what is in your checking account. Okay. You just need to do it from a behavior thing. I know it sucks. It sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can use a charge card like the Viz card that will build credit. You can still do that, but it's only applying the money that you put on it. Okay. So you can't spend more than that. You just, you cannot have access to these credit limits. You can't. Yeah. They gave me, what was it like 50,000 in credit limits there? I think across the board. Yeah. I, I don't know. This one's 9,500, but That's $137 minimum with the payment. These things are stacking my boy, Damn. my dude, my guy. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's all bullshit. In some golf thing, checkers, donuts, 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 Xbox Game Pass. Wow, I called it earlier. Schlotzkis, donuts, raising canes, Japanese sushi, donut, raising canes, Schlotzkis, Game Pass twice? What the fuck is wrong with you? Are you, what are you? A, uh, do you have two different Game Pass accounts? What are you? Actually, Schlotzkis and donuts. What are we doing? I've got two different Xboxes, so I might have accidentally paid twice for them. Ah, log into one account, you and then I had to take... Just because you look like an a Xbox avatar doesn't mean you should be spending it twice. The And then the golf stuff, I remember that. I had to take somebody out for golf for work because I sold them I would buy them around a golf. Okay, yeah. well, that's fine. Then in that one, in the sales game, I get it. But the rest, yeah. come on, come on. I mean, there was like 15 others. Yeah. And everything else was... Almost 400 bucks in interest on this year alone. <sighs> this card, this year alone. And it's your like lower interest credit card at 25%. Good death, man. Good death. It's just, it, 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 it kills me that you've done this by 21. It really does. I know I didn't was didn't really care for you very much there for a bit. Um, yeah. Luckily, people can grow on me pretty quickly. But it's just the fact that you've done this to yourself since 21. It's been nine months. Over 20, it's, yeah. It, it's heartbreaking, man. You have so much life ahead of you, and you're limiting yourself so much. You have chain some weights to you in a way that you don't even recognize yet you don't because you haven't felt the full effects yet oh for good sake what is vgw gold coins via trustly what is this and why is it every single thing on your checking account one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven on what page what is it so oh, please i play a lot of poker Oh, it's worse than I thought. I thought you were like buying gold or something. No, I, I play a lot of poker and that's online poker. Oh, that's online poker. It's online poker, which I play God, probably the, every night. Is he? So. No, it's one of my other coworkers I used to work with. He got me into the poker game. Okay. F never talk to that person again. Okay. Yeah. Then that's, that's online poker. And then <laughs> we also, I go out probably once a month. <gasps> And spend between two and three hundred dollars. I'm gonna fuck. I'm gonna punch you if you keep doing this, buddy. You can't do this to yourself. It's networking. That's the way I thought about it. Is networking. I is mean, that the way you still think about it? I think I'm kind of wasting a lot of money. Just, okay, good. I'm glad you figured it out. I'm not very good at poker, obviously. <laughs> I don't know. I don't see any winning. So yeah. <laughs> so what is this? A buy-in per game or? Uh, probably about three or four buy-ins per game. Uh, 
and then ten bucks every time. Well, you, uh, okay, well you're throwing ten bucks in like every five yeah, so seconds. So that's on the online stuff, but the in person stuff is about sixty to a hundred dollars every game. How often do you win anything? Uh, Not that it matters. You're gonna stop. I need you to stop. I won five dollars once. <laughs> you say everything like it's a joke, but I believe you said that as like a genuine thing. No, yeah, I genuinely, <laughs> I've, I genuinely won five dollars once. Okay, what's your addiction tendency around this? To the best of your knowledge, because this screams. I think it's a vice. Gambling. Whenever I was working it, long hours. What are you telling me? You don't do this anymore? I've slowed down. I slowed down a lot, Hilarious. but it was it was a vice, and it was something I was like, either I can do this and go start drinking, I can start smoking cigarettes, and cigarettes why, are Wait, gross. why do you need something bad? I don't get this. Why do you need something that's bad for you? If, what, are you f Just go, go jerk off for a second and call it a day. That's a lot, man. Well, no, it like, doesn't have to be. Like multiple times a day? No, I said just go do that once. Oh, just, okay. Yeah. Call it a day. Have that be your vice. I don't know. Why do you need something bad? It, it was just something to let some steam off and it was. Go to uh... All right, guys, I get it. You need more financial audit. So we've decided now in our membership below, you get two exclusive, see nowhere else, uncensored financial audits. Oh, good. No way, your couch hopping? Yeah, places I like stay at for the job. You're relying on bookings for a place to live? Yeah. Also, three post shows a week for every financial audit you're seeing right here on YouTube. In the post show, we have an extra 20 minutes for every single episode where we go into more drama that we didn't uncover in the original episode. We can't find you on Facebook. Did you block me on Facebook? No, mm -hmm. no way. And then included in the membership, every Tuesday, we have a member live stream where you come in, you hang out with us, we answer your questions, and the whole crew gets together, we play games, we mess around, and we chat with you. I have a pair of salmon shorts on that desk, ready to change into right after this. So you dress like you smoke no <laughs> for the first time when you go on a date? Yeah. <laughs> first rat, first rat party. Yeah. Then there's always extra bonus things, like for example, an office tour. As the team grew, we have to eat out of here now. So this was gonna be the fun area, now it's not. We upload hours and hours and hours of extra content just for you, and it helps support the growth of this channel and the growth of this business. Join the membership, link in the description below. Hmm. I don't know why, I just don't understand why do you need something bad? I don't need something bad. And trust me, this is this right now is stressful. Mm -hmm. I don't need something bad. I pet my dogs to feel happier. <laughs> I go on a walk. Why do you feel like it has to be something that's bad for you? I don't know. Like everybody I worked around was like smoking cigarettes, you drinking. You work with scumbags. They're I, car salesmen. Yeah. Was, I don't give a f what the why are those the people we're looking up to? You're looking at the degenerates of society. I was the youngest salesperson there, and so like I just kind of puppy dogged around. And I was just like, oh, these are, this is how I become successful in life. Yeah. It's at a place I was working at before this, I, I was one of the younger ones and someone older than me, f the intern in his car in the parking lot. That doesn't mean I look up to him and start fucking interns in parking lots. I like, I don't understand <laughs> that. Doesn't, okay. Maybe I, you're I, very impressionable. I Maybe you're, you're very I'm impressionable. Gullible. I like to stand on my own. So maybe I just can't relate to that. And be your own man. Oh, yeah. oh, okay, 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 okay. So you pick gambling out of all the bad things. Um, okay, What's but it? you're like weaning off, and it does sounds like you're struggling to wean off. It's it's. If you stop today, could you actually stop? If I stop today, you didn't do one. You got well, one. Let's just be simple. And the math side, you cannot afford this. No, I can't. To be very clear, so I would say stop today. Can you stop today? I think I could. Okay, I think. then we have a problem if you cannot say yes. And at that case, you might need to do like a Gambler's Anonymous thing, man. Okay. And that's like beyond this conversation. So that's something you have to do on your own. And I highly recommend, um, if you want, we could find some in your area and send them to you, if that would help. All right. All right. Uh, but that's a push you have to take on your own. Okay. Just like fixing the behavior around that, but we can talk about that. But I, you know, addiction, that's not my life. So yeah. finances, that's my life. Okay. Yeah. I but, mean, I think getting out of that would be, you know, less expensive. For sure. Yeah, uh, yeah, but especially in the long run, because you're going to end up in something bad. Because people like you who can't stop end up in something bad. 
You don't see it yet. I, I and don't. that's the. Like, yeah, my, my thoughts is like, at least I'm not going to Vegas and like getting caught well, up. I with don't understand. I will never understand that. Just because I don't look like Tammy on a thousand pound sisters does not mean that I am in healthy condition. I don't, I will never understand that just because I'm not doing this thing that is objectively worse means this bad thing I'm doing is okay. I will never understand that. And so many people say that on the show. Be a f adult. For fuck's sake. It's just not everything. I think everyone's just looking for a way to justify. Everyone's looking yeah, for I a mean, way to f things look good to them that they're doing. Most people don't want to accept that they're wrong. Yeah, but you're on the show, the show of accepting things that are wrong. Yeah. And I, having this conversation has really brought light to a lot of things. I'm just like, oh, sh So, and I'm sorry I was mean to you at first. No. I, I hope you don't feel bad. Nah. My producers want me to hug you, but I don't want to touch you. <laughs> so we're not doing that. You don't want to hug? Nope. Okay. Ten dollars in your savings account. I don't know. I know you more than I know him, and I don't want to hug you, so I'm not there yet. <clears throat> I'll rub knuckles. That's all I'm gonna do. Phrasing. Once I get to know people more, then I'm willing to touch. <laughs> what? Just the rate, the way you phrase certain things is. You ever seen Archer before? Uh uh Oh, it, he has a line. It's just when somebody says something like that's what she said instead. He's like phrasing. Oh. Good show. I mean, we can dock when we're done if you want, but sure, man. It's as far as I'll go. All right. Try everything twice, right? That's what my mom said. Is she dead? No, no. Okay. Second okay. husband, though. There it is. Five thousand dollars retirement. Cool. Yeah. Thrilled. Again, and this was the issue that I was struggling with at the beginning. It's what do we do for budget? Because I mean, two thousand dollars is. Well, let's see what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like. I think. I'm curious. I I added up if I get my. <laughs> If I get my job at the restaurant, which they did say oh, that they're going to call me back. Great. To tell you yes or no. <laughs> they said that they're fully booked at the moment, but they'll give me a call. So, uh, so that's a no. They'll give you a call back and that could be in six months. What are you going to do? Sit around and tell them? Uh, I've been applying for a couple other places. You keep saying a couple. What, what does this look like? What does your applying look like? i walking in asking if they're hiring. Most of the time. Okay, I appreciate that. I mean, you, it's not like your resume is blank, though. Oh, how long did you do sales? I did sales for about a year. And then before okay. that, I did... Try to utilize that. Try to get another sales job. One that's less scummy. Okay. Because I get to... For example, I get to talk about the budgeting, mm -hmm. investing, and now the debt programs that we offer. I get to tell this, and I get to sell it to the audience. But there's nothing scummy about it. I can feel good about yeah. it because the people that take them improve their lives. We provide value and value is given from the other side. And then, you know, mathematically, we find that it's not even close. People get more out of it than they spend because they change their lives and they make, you know, a ton of money in the end by, you know, saving money, essentially. But, like, you can, there are things you can sell that will not be scummy. I don't want to, like... I don't want to sell insurance. That was that was a big thing. A lot of insurance. Is that the only other thing that exists in this world? Are you? Not really. Why do you immediately go to that? I, I didn't suggest insurance. No, but I didn't like, say the word insurance. But that's like the big thing is car sales or insurance, and I'm like, okay. Oh, get into like those. tech sales. Get into even customer service as a lead into tech sales. I don't know. There's a lot of different selling selling things. Okay, uh, I'll definitely have to do some re research into that. See what. I can well, do. I don't know. All I know is if you're just applying to a couple jobs and you're waiting to hear back from someone that's full on positions, we're it's, we're not doing anything. I mean, listen, your minimum fee payments are a thousand forty nine sixty nine, and what's your car insurance again? Uh, around five hundred. No, it was like six hundred something. Six hundred. So. But you don't even know. For fuck's sake, you're supposed to be able to answer this. Car insurance was 614. 614, that's what it was. Okay. So at that point, we're already almost 75% of your current budget. So it's just like, okay, what's your portion of rent? Uh, 500. There we go. So there's no point in making a budget anymore. You've lost it. That, well, this, that already maxed you out, buddy. The 614 was before I got the drive safe thing. So it actually dropped it down to like 488 now. You're still over your budget. Yeah, you're still over your budget. So, yeah. And this is what I worried about at the beginning. This is mm -hmm. what some people will be upset about. And I do apologize for that, guys. Uh, but again, this is a very just 
walk on the street. This, this, you know, the people you'll find. The world, the world is crazy. That doesn't mean you're crazy. You just yeah. you jump the ship too early. You're immature. You're not planned. You didn't plan, and you have ignorance around your own finances. So you didn't even know that one was accruing interest and had a balance. You didn't know how much the other one was accruing anyway. So this is just reality, and it's it's an important conversation to have as well because for you, I need you to at least know your situation. Mm-hmm. Now, from here, what I need you to do, man, is apply to every job that is in Beaumont, and that's not a, that's not an over-exaggeration. I want you to look at every job. This could be stocking shelves at night. Listen, you bailed too quick. It's as simple as that. You might end up in a job that you also don't like, but that's okay because you're going to pay your bills instead of going because what you're doing is you are pushing yourself to a point where you're going to be forced to work a job that's even worse twice as long just to get out of the debt that you're accumulating because you decided to quit that job without a plan. So what I need you to do is to get into any job and then while you're working that job just to keep steady or hopefully pay off some debt, but at least keep you steady, you are applying for the better jobs and you're interviewing for the better jobs. And then you go to those jobs and quit the job you don't like while you're doing that. But you're applying for every job. You're stocking shelves at Walmart. You are working in a warehouse. You are doing anything. You are running Amazon. I don't care. You are making money because you have no other option to other option. I mean, it probably costs you about 3000 bucks to live. And I probably need you to bring in about 3000 bucks a month at a minimum. You probably should bring in about $4,000 to start making some dents at this debt. The debt, I mean, it still takes minus that one that we thought was yours. It still takes you if you make it literally, if you make double what you're making now, it still probably takes, uh, three years to pay off. Your debt, making double what you make now, assuming that it takes you three thousand hours to live, and assuming you're not paying taxes. So it's just, this is, the, but you make your hole even worse if you don't go get another job now. So really, I need to put a band aid on just to start. We need to start the bleeding to at least make sure you live, and that is going and getting an income source. I did get an offer. What? Tell me. It was for drafting. C- cool. And Tell me. It, well, what's drafting? It computer drafting, like oh, house right. plans. And how much? Uh, they were saying with everything, I kind of calculated it once. I don't remember exactly what they said, but with everything added together, plus my, my side stuff, I would be around 35 a month. There you go. And this would keep us survival and you'd start making your debt would take six years to pay off, but you wouldn't stay there. You'd be applying for better and better jobs. Mm -hmm. You'd get to be getting pay increases. You'd be working second jobs. So take it, call them now and take it. Cause I need you to survive right now. You've been shot on the battlefield and you're about to head towards death, bankruptcy, failure. So, you know, that's where you're headed now. I need to at least patch the wound and make sure that you're able to survive. And then we can talk about improving, improving the job, improving our career, improving your income and paying off the debt. But we need to get to survival first and you're not there right now. So that's priority number one, my man. So if I go ahead and take that job, which they're waiting on a callback, they called me, Yesterday. Are you kidding me? Yes. Except, can you call them right now? Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, call them right now. I, no, I'm not even kidding. Call them right now and say you accept the job. This is not, this is, I am being 100% serious. Yeah, turn around. They'll still be open. Yeah. It's 2.45 our time. I'll take a little hydration. You're about to get a job. Congratulations. So that'll put me, what, 35, 100 a month or so? If it does that, you're probably staying steady. Maybe a little progress towards that. If you're actually budgeting, not spending, not gambling. Yeah, give him a call real quick. Hey. Hey, is this Christine? Yes. Hey, uh, this is... We talked the other day about accepting uh, a, a job offer that you gave me. Uh, yes, we did. Um, if the position isn't filled, I would love to come in and finish the onboarding process and the interview. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, what's, uh, what's the best time for me to come in? Let me see. Let me, let me look at my phone. Here. You did. She asked how'd it go. She already knows you. She knows you're here. Mm-hmm. I, oh, okay. I, I told her, hey, I'm going to go do this. I won't be able to. Are you friends with her? Do you know her? Uh, we're family friends. What'd you say? Friday afternoon, the 27th, around 2 o'clock. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I can do that. Okay. All righty. I will uh, I'll give you a call whenever I'm on my way. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Okay. That's weird. Well, we're not like we're family friends, so it was like kind of like she a, answered, "Hey, how'd it go?" And then you acted like you were t- okay. 
we'll break this down and other things and other drama in the post show. You guys can join the membership link in the description below. We're going to bring in the producers and talk about more that they know about you uh, being scammed by your job. Lots of travels and apparently simp behavior that I don't know about. So stick around for that. Hammer fire score. Okay. Yeah. Let's give you a real one. Um, that was such a weird phone call. Hey, how'd it go? Hi. We talked about getting a job the other day. What are we doing? <laughs> Hey, at least she played with it. She I understood mean, what you were doing. She was a family friend that was offering me a job. She had your number saved. You didn't have her number. She knew who it was calling. No, I didn't save her number. I feel bad. I mean, we had to f get the number for you. Are you kidding me? Spending budget. Technically, you underspent on your income there. But you're spending more. You weren't paying off your debt, so I can't give you a better score than 2 out of 10. Now, of course, if you're spending that amount on your current income, it would be a zero easily don't have any collections but this debt is bad for your situation especially with the unemployed not the worst uh ever two out of ten emergency fund there was no savings zero out of ten retirement you're okay for your age i'm glad what you've put away i'm gonna give you a four out of ten there real estate zero out of ten draft yourself up a make-believe house and live in it 1.5 out of 10. Make sure to check out the new debt course where we teach you how to pay off debt the best way and utilize debt in the best way all together. You can get it, uh, link in the description below. See you guys in the post show. Today on the Financial Audit Post Show. Why did you play into it like you were talking to a random person you've never talked to before? Camera. I mean, honestly, at that point it was camera. Were you I was trying like, to get out of it? Be honest, right now. The first one, yes. I knew it, because he put it on his speakerphone and he was like, wait, wrong number. He's like, who'd, who'd you call? call girlfriend. Oh, he called his girlfriend! <laughs> <laughs> and then you didn't think I would ask you to put it on speakerphone, no. did you? I called that shit out, too. Yeah. I called that shit out, too. Does your boyfriend have any emotions? Um. To watch the financial audit post show, click the join button below.